Do you still have lots of these envelopes left? You can see that I do, and this is not even all of the ones that I have. But I have an idea today that we're gonna use to use up at least one of them. I don't know if this is a new idea or not. It may be something that Roxy Creations has done something similar to. And this type of fold is something that Kathleen Maurer does a lot with the, the uh, collar effect. So anyway, I'm kind of combining some ideas. And let me pull a page out here and show you what the idea is. This is just a, a standard business envelope that um, I've cut up a little bit. And I'll show you more about that. But the thought is that it would be glued to a page on this side for a top loading pocket. Mainly, I mean, you could make it a side loading pocket, but since it's so close to the spine, it may be a little hard to put things in and out of that. Or you could just do it as a um, side tuck and have both the top and the side open to make it a little more accessible. And then you turn the page, and this part is only glued on the other side so that you can open this up and it's a flip for writing space back here. This is probably gonna have to be covered with something because it's where the envelope is pieced together. And then these two pieces are folded up to, to make pockets. And you'll have one pocket here and one pocket here. And I need to glue the bottom of that one <laughs> to make it work. I'm gonna put this piece in my pocket pouch for my template, but I thought we'd make one of these envelope flip pockets today. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of our Atmos Energy envelopes because it's plain on the back. I thought about this one, but it's it's got this design in there. And the part that would be showing wouldn't be, it would be here. You'd have that crisscross design on the place that I consider a writing space. You could do that, you could put some little pages there scrappy pages over that, it would be cute. And then on the pockets, it, this one and this one would both have that design on it, which is kind of close together to have, have them both the same. If it was alternated, I might like it better. But anyway, I think I'm gonna use the Atmos Bill envelope and we will get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is figure out where this one is opened. It's opened at the bottom here, it's there which is fine because I'm gonna cut that open anyway. I'm making this to put on the page this way. Rather than having that open where you would put it on the page with the pockets here in the, the window on that side. You could do it either way, I think. <laughs> Let's get this assembled the way we want it to be. I want the bottom to be cut open all the way. This I left connected there, but I think I may just cut that off and then just glue the pockets. I think that might be easier. I'm just gonna take my knife in a ruler and just slice this open down here. So it's a little bit straighter. You can use, you know, whatever a letter opener or your scissors or whatever, but I think I'm gonna do it this way this time. Okay. It didn't seem like it cut right there. There we go. Okay, that's opened up and I need the top opened up as well. And I'm gonna do the same thing up here. I'm gonna go across there. Okay, that is open now. And I just folded this up, folded this up about what I thought it should be. And it turned out to be exactly six inches. Who knew? I didn't know. But that's a good size to go on eight and a half on this size page, which is, this is eight and a half. This is five and a half. Five and a half by eight and a half. And that fits in on there pretty nicely on that page. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And although I did it before by just eyeballing it, I may kind of do it straight this time. Okay. Now we have this open 
and we need to have this this part right here cut across. Actually, I'm gonna give that a better fold so I can see where I need to cut it and get it straight. Okay, so this part forms the pockets. This part is the flap. This is not the flap. This part is what's glued down as a pocket. And this is the pockets on the flap, which is this piece. And this only needs to be cut to the center right there. And I don't want to go any further because I will have a mistake. Okay, there we go. Now it's mostly folding. Okay, I'm going to glue this down. Okay, now this, this part is gluing to the page, so I don't need to worry about this side of it. This side, I, both pieces of this will show because that's the flip part. So I'm gonna wanna cover this up with something. And I have this paper, which I do like. These little sheets, they came from these little pads that my friend sent me. Um, all kinds of different, just pretty papers. And the size of them is slightly less than the envelope size, when you know it. They're four by five and a half. So, what I want to do is make this small enough that I can just glue one of these pages to this and cover up that whole area. So I need to take off a little bit on the side there. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Let's see. I'll line it up with this fold and then I'll cut, cut it off down there. I'm going to put my ruler on the top of the paper so that I can see what I'm doing and hold it, hold the paper down in place as best I can. Okay, this is kind of awkward, but anyway, we'll do it quickly and it will be done. Okay, I think it got almost all of it. I'm just using my scissors to finish this right here. I'm thinking I'm going to round these corners anyway, so that corner doesn't matter too much. I hope I haven't confused you with what I'm doing yet. <laughs> we'll get to the confusing part later. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't leave me. Okay, I've got that that needs gluing. That's the thing with these envelopes. You, have, you keep finding little spots that need to be glued. Okay. All right. So, what we've done is we've cut the envelope open and we've folded it at six inches from this end, and we've cut the front from this to the fold, and then I took off a little bit of of, um, of the area back there. It's a little bit, um, I could have taken a tiny bit more, but I think I'll just ink it, and I'll worry about it. Okay, so now what we need to do is think about covering these things also need, I need to look at what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, what I did was I folded this top piece back. I need to cut this down a little ways. I cut that one down to right about there, but <clears throat> I didn't actually fold it that far down, so I think I'll cut this one more like to the O right there, to that right, where's my pencil? Just about to there. To make the folds. And I'm just gonna use my scissors on this on this this time. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold I'm gonna around this corner. Already decided on that. And um, fold it down from where I where I drew that line and bring it down 
Oh, I don't know, about like that, I think. And then that I'm gonna cut off in a minute. It could be folded under. I cut it off on that one, so that's what I'll do on this one too. Um, that blue is showing through, so I'm probably gonna to wanna to put something on that. This one I'm gonna fold back under the other way, and I want the angle to be pretty much like that is, so we'll just um, do it. Let's see what we're doing here. Just that look pretty good. And then I'll just cut off these pieces that extend. That needs to be cut there. And this, even like that. And this little piece, I don't know. About that little piece. So, where we are now is, um, this is folded back and that's folded down, and this is the side that's going to be the flap, which will open this way. It will be loose on the page, so there's writing space here. This side will be glued. I'm telling myself this as much as you, <laughs> because um, I get confused too. And I need to trim this off because it needs to match up to there with this. I guess I'll use my knife again on this. Use this little ruler here. And just cut that off. Perfect. I think my blade needs to be replaced. It seems like it's a little bit dull. So this is glued down. This is glued down. This is not, and it opens this way. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this part, I, and I don't need to come down any further than around here because that won't be seen at all. And I may leave this white and just ink it, and I'm gonna put something on this flap and then cover this also. So I have these pieces, um, which I think are pretty. That one has a key on it. I think I'll use that for some of the others. And also this one, which I think is pretty too. I think I'm gonna use the key on this. Um, on this piece, I think. Use this stencil and put design on it. So that it has something pretty on it. Let's see. I'll just put it partially on there. And I'm gonna use the pink. This is Distress Oxide Victorian Velvet. Okay, let's just put a little bit here and there. See how that looks. Maybe a little bit more there. Okay, that looks pretty. Just a little something on there to get, didn't get forgotten. Okay, I'm going to put this on here, I think. I'm going to do, but I want it to be up. I think I want it up just about as far, I think about there. So right about there is where I'm going to cut it. But I do need to do something with this edge because I don't want it showing on there. If 
That wouldn't be upside down. When I turned it to the other side, I could just leave it on there. Or if I didn't care if it was upside down. Okay, what do we think? I am going to glue down to about the top of that. I need a glue page here. I pulled out a new piece of junk mail for a glue page. <laughs> so I don't get glued in the wrong spots. Whoops, I'm going too far. Don't want it there. And I don't want it there. Too far down. I'll wipe it off with this. This is just a dry baby wipe. Wet wipe, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Now I get to decide if I want to wipe that over to the back. Okay. I'm going to leave that over there going around that edge. Now what I want to do here is um, I'm going to put something on this piece and something here. I think I'm going to put something here first. I'm going to put this here. Let's see if that will fit on there. I'm gonna have to piece that some other way. I think. Where do I... Well, maybe that will work. Okay, I just need to glue to there. Keeping my thumb on it and getting my glue page. What do I do with my glue page? There it is. Okay. Oops. I guess that's right. Second guessing myself. If you had an envelope that was um, decorative or something, you wouldn't have to go through all this of covering up everything. Or if you just didn't mind that it was um, showing its true self, what it used to be, you could just have it, um, have it plain. Blue eraser, handy thing to have. I got mine at the Dollar Tree for a dollar when things were a dollar there, and they're a little more expensive now. Okay. All right, I'm going to cut this off. Hopefully I got that straight. I may put just a little something else up there and let this flap be something you can lift up and even ride on. Put a, a tab to slide it under. Okay, this is what I was gonna put up here. It lacks just a little bit over there. Okay, so my choices are piece it or put something else there or use a different piece of paper. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink it. I'm going to put some brown and some pink on it. 
And it's just going to be what it is. That a bit dark. Oh well. Okay. I'm not going to be conquered by this thing. I'm going to conquer it. <laughs> okay. I just want to glue that to here. And I'm going to do it like that. And then turn it over and trim off the other side. And I don't think it's going to show that that is not... Okay, I'm gonna ink, I'm gonna glue on this and then I'm gonna put down on it. And let's see, this side only needs that much and this side needs that much. So kind of this way. And to make sure I get this, I'm just gonna go around this corner. Okay. Oops, wrong one. At least I didn't have the glue on the wrong one. Okay. All right. Yeah, more glue. I'm going to cut that off so it doesn't matter. See if I can do this. Here. And then I'm just going to ram that corner again and see how it looks. Okay, that's the back. It's pretty cute. I like that. This is going to be a writing space, so that needs some paper on it. Okay, I got some some paper to put on this page, the page that needs to be a writing space. And it doesn't have to go all the way up there, but I could put it all the way up there and just have that as a little a flap at the top. It's upside down, but I have that like that. Okay, I'm gonna just do that. I'm going to tear off six inches. I'll go from there. going to cut this down. Precision. And then 
cared. Okay. I just need this on here. About like that. And... All right, I'm gonna put this on this page. Put it down as far as I can, actually. And put that over the top. All right, I'm just gonna glue that down. I'm putting lots of glue on here because I want it to stay stuck. You know, I thought I had all my decisions made when I started this, but as usual, I didn't. Um, I'm just going to put that up there, I think. And then I just need to finish this. And this is the pocket. I'm still undecided about that. I'm going to glue that down. something on this page. It goes like that. And of course, it doesn't cover everything. You know, I just have a half a mind. Of course, if I cut that off, that makes it so close to that window. I don't want to do that. So... I think what I need to do on this page is just do some collage. And I may just start with this piece. I turned the camera off while I was working on this collage. I <laughs> I struggle with getting collage to look like I want it to, so I didn't want you to suffer through that. But anyway, what I did is I put um, this tea dyed or coffee dyed paper on this, this edge and then used um, some of the paper that I showed you, these little, pa these little pages um, around there. And this side's plain because it's glued either here, here, and here, or just here and across the bottom, depending on if you want a side tuck. I need, I need to put this on the page. You can either glue it here and here, 
It needs to be glued on this side to hold the flip because it's going to be, be loose on this side. So that edge needs to be glued on for sure. And the bottom and this side, depending on if you want a tuck spot or a top loading pocket. And it would have a card in there of some kind. And then on this side, we have the pockets. The page is kind of curling from that glue. I'll just straighten out. This side is loose and it will flip that way. All right, I'm just gonna put the glue, I'm gonna put it right across that line right there where it's folded and press that down. Make sure it's not coming off the edges. And then I want to glue, um, I'm gonna start back here. I'm gonna glue this side and this side back to here. So I will, I'm gonna glue a little bit here and a bit up here. And can we even see the edge and this edge? too much on there. This reminds me of a book I had when, I think it was my oldest brother's book that he got when he was a kid, so it was probably from the 40s, I don't know. He was a good bit older than I am. And um, it had all these flaps that, it had animals on it and these flaps that went across and changed the animals. You could have a whole giraffe or you could have a giraffe that had elephant legs and a tiger head or something because of the way the flaps went back and forth. I don't know what happened to that, but I would love to have that or I wouldn't like it again. It was just a fun memory from childhood. Okay, this needs to be glued across the bottom and up that side. I had the lights kind of off because it was causing so many shadows. I'm depending on the camera picking it up, but it's making it kind of hard for me to see what I'm doing. Let's see if I got that on there. I think I did. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there it is finished. And this back page, could I have a big, big tag like this, maybe? I didn't want to go in there. I think it's glue it took up all the space. I have to use something a little smaller. Part like that, maybe. Okay. Just kind of ooching that glue back a little bit. And this could have a card in it. Yeah, I don't know, maybe a, this is just stamped Paris on there. Some little tag or something could slip up under there. But something like that. Not that because it's blue. But anyway, it's there if we want it. <laughs> How about that? Anyway, that was my idea for today, and I hope you um, enjoyed seeing me make it, even though I felt like I was struggling with it for a while. Now, I hope I didn't make it look harder than it actually is to do this. And I still think I need to cut that paper off so it lays flat. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and for coming by, and I appreciate all my new subscribers and all of my faithful old subscribers and viewers. I really appreciate the time you spend watching my videos, and I hope they're beneficial for you. And I hope you're having a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.